Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has rolled out the early stable release of Chrome version 124, which is our next stable version. And as you may well know by now, they rolled out the early stable a week prior to rolling out the official release to the general public, uh, just to a limited subset of users. So most, including myself, haven't received it yet. And they do this to test that release for bugs and that before it rolls out to the general public. Now, early stable was released uh, yesterday on the 10th in my region. So I would suggest we would start getting 124 on the 16th or 17th next week in April 2024. Now, first of all, this is not a comprehensive list. Obviously, this is subject to change and more or less what's going on in the beta channel. So we could expect some beta 124 features to make their way into the next stable release. So this is subject to change. Now, first of all, obviously, we will always get the uh, security fixes that roll out. Uh, Google has already rolled out the weekly security fixes. So... Uh, for this week but next week we will get the security fixes rolling out with that stable release and then over and above that um it's going to be a light release i don't think we're going to get too many visible front-facing features but just to have a look at more or less what we could expect to see and as mentioned this could be subject to change now previously as you may well know in chrome you could install any website as a web app style window on chrome but you had to use the create shortcut option in save and share. So just to demonstrate, if I head over to Gemini, this is the first of one or two new features we'll have a look at that could roll out. If I head over to Google Gemini, there is no install option in the Omnibox to install that as a PWA, a progressive web app. So what you would have to do then is head to your main menu, save and share and create shortcut, and then you can install that as a web app by clicking on open as window. Now, this is where the first feature is going to change all this. And I have actually posted on this previously, where Chrome could soon allow you to install any site as a web app. And I'll leave that video in the end screen. So basically, Google is improving the accessibility of web apps in the browser. So just to demonstrate, I'm going to head over to Chrome Canary, a preview version. And if I head back to Gemini to demonstrate once again, and we head to our main menu, save and share yeah you'll see over and above create shortcut we also get install page as app so that's the feature i'm talking about and you can see that that will install that directly now as a pwa and not as a web page where you create a shortcut and then you can open it up in its own uh, boarded window as an example so that's the first of one or two new features we could expect to see roll out uh, in version 124 next week and then the next is regarding a feature called circle to search which is already available on android some android devices and basically this is an upgrade to google lens for chrome now i don't think this circle to search will make its way officially as a default feature um, next week i think this could be hidden behind an experimental flag but basically circle to search is when you uh, use your mouse to circle around an object or text or an image and then obviously it opens that up using Google Lens uh, in the site panel. And this is a feature that's already been tested over in Microsoft Edge, in Edge Canary. And I have posted on that, and I'll leave a video in the end screen to give you a general idea. But I think Circle to Search, uh, if it does come to desktop, will be hidden behind an experimental flag. I think it's too early for that to roll out as a default feature uh, in the stable release. And then the third and last feature, just to look at today, is you'll be able to press and hold escape to exit a full screen. And I have posted on this previously where Google Chrome is getting a faster way to exit full screen mode. And I think this could make its way to stable. So just to demonstrate, currently uh, in the stable version, if I head to my menu and I enter full screen, we have to press F11 to exit the full screen or the little X button if we move our mouse up to the top. Now, if I move back to uh, Chrome Canary 125, the latest preview version, and I enter full screen. It says to exit full screen, press and hold escape. So all I do on my keyboard is I just press that in, hold that for a second or two, and that then should um, exit full screen. There we go. So that's exit full screen. So just to demonstrate one more time, there we go. To exit full screen, press and hold escape. 
and there you go. And that exits full screen. So I think that's quite a handy feature because some keyboards, um, you need to use the function key and F11 and not just F11. So it can make it a little bit complicated and a little bit, um, you know, a kind of gl glitchy and so on. And I think this will be a nice move, small yet significant. So that's more or less, guys. As mentioned, this is really a guesstimate on my part, what's going on in the beta channel. Some of these features could make their way through. Not too many front-facing features, but nonetheless, that's our next 124 version upgrade. And obviously, we'll also get those security fixes rolling out next week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.